Hi there, Chris with the Polo Movement here, and today we are taking a look at a beautiful Evolve City. A quick overview before we dive into the details. This scooter features a 350 watt brushless motor and a 36 volt 10.4 AH battery from LG. It has 8.5 inch tires, a spring shock absorber in the front, and a hydraulic system in the back. The manufacturer claims a top speed of 35 kilometers an hour and a 30 to 40 kilometer range. Now, let's dive more into the details of this beautiful scooter. First up, let's talk about Evolve as a brand. It's a Canadian-based company out of Vancouver, which launched earlier this year. Right away, you're probably thinking, isn't this a 08? You're actually correct, except for one very important detail, the battery. While Zero Scooters relies on a Chinese battery cells, Evolve makes a point of avoiding them at all costs. Instead, they only use LG batteries. Is it worth the premium? You bet. We've been testing scooters for years now, and by far, the component we've seen the most issues with, as well as the one that has the most impact on the longevity of your scooter, is the battery. Oh, and it's also the most expensive one to replace. So if there's one part of the scooter that's worth spending a few extra bucks on, it's the battery. So that's Evolve. There's also two other models that they currently sell, by the way, uh, the Tour and the Pro, that are available for purchase on our website as well, and we'll be doing a content video soon. Now, let's talk about the city. As the name mentioned, it's designed for commuters in busy cities. Clicking at only 18 kilograms, it's heavier than the Xiaomi or 9Bot you might have used before, but it's still definitely portable. In fact, we were quite surprised at how compact the scooter becomes once folded. Starting with the handlebars, the collapsible front bar, and a quick folding mechanism, it's definitely small enough to fit under your desk or in your trunk. For your reference, the folded dimensions are right over here. The City, as do all other Evolve scooters, comes with a neat display and a throttle quite different than the most mainstream scooters. For one, the acceleration throttle is in the front and not behind the bar. This means you can use your pointing and middle fingers to accelerate rather than your thumb. We prefer this to the Mercane or the Xiaomi, as it's more natural with a longer ride and also more comfortable. The display itself shows a few different stats, from the standard speed and battery to trip distance, battery voltage remaining, and total distance traveled throughout the lifespan of your scooter. You can also choose one of three modes to use a scooter in, each mode acting as a different speed limitation. The first limits to a speed around 15 km an hour, second to around 25 km an hour, and th finally the third mode maxes it out at 33 km an hour. There is no eco mode, but the three speed settings pretty much do the same. To turn the light on, you just push and hold the mode button down for two seconds as well. In terms of the brakes, we have one on the left side of the handlebar. It's a single rear drum brake, which we initially thought wouldn't be enough for a scooter that reaches 35 km an hour, but so far it's been perfectly sufficient. What's quite cool about the City, compared to other scooters we've tried in the past, is the width of the handlebar. It's significantly wider than the 9 bots or the Xiaomi, which gives you more stability. Other scooters can feel a bit wobbly at times, but not this city. Another neat feature is a dual suspension. The front features a spring one, while the back has a hydraulic one. Add this to pneumatic tires, and you're looking at a pretty comfortable ride. We're based out of Montreal, and the roads here are as bad as you've probably heard. So the city's shock absorbers are tested daily, and so far, so good. In terms of power, we have a single 350 watt brushless motor in the rear. While Evolve advertises a top speed of 35 km an hour, we're only getting up to 32 km an hour on flat surfaces, with a rider weighing around 75 kilos or 165 pounds. That said, if like us, you're looking for a scooter to get to the office or school, 32 km an hour is a nice speed. Faster than the Xiaomi or 9 bots, it often feels quite slow, but not as intense as a Mercane Pro. With a little bit too much pressure on the throttle, it can get dangerous. In terms of carrying capacity or supported weight, the city can support riders with a maximum weight of 120 kilos, or roughly 260 pounds. Now, let's talk about the battery. After all, that's the main selling point. It's a 10.4 AH battery, which is the same capacity as the ES4, which for those who aren't familiar with 9Bots, it is a scooter that's widely been used by the scooter sharing company, Lime. As previously mentioned, it's a 36 volt LG battery which Evolve claims can deliver 30 to 40 kilometers of range. In our experience, the actual range tends to be closer to 25 to 30 kilometers. Though we always ride in full speed, 
So you can potentially push it to 34, 40 if you're driving a little bit slower. So what's the overall take on a scooter? With a price tag of 1,099 Canadian dollars, it's some of the best value on the market. It hits a sweet spot between power and portability. It's not as cheap as a toy as a 9Bot or the Xiaomi, but it really hits that comfort and power that you need in the city to commute on a day to day. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Chris with the Polo Movements, and you can view the city and all other of our product offerings at apolomovement.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.